Thai food has become a staple of the Australian diet and is easily one of the country's most popular cuisines. But nothing quite beats trying traditional Thai food right here at the source. Bangkok is the biggest and busiest city in Thailand. Home to over 10 million people, the city is alive with restaurants, street stalls and bustling food markets. Exploring a country's cuisine is the best way to experience its local culture. And we're doing just that, signing up for a food tour with CM Rise Travel. So, Jip, where is our first stop? Our first stop will be the egg noodle shop. OK. And it's the 60 years recipe. And the shop, they make everything handmade. Handmade, handmade. 60-year-old recipe, egg yes. noodles. Oh, sounds good. The food tour is centred around Tonburi, a riverside community and former capital of the country. So, Chip, when I think of Thai food, I think of a lot of noodles. Is that common? Uh, yes, but I would consider noodle as a fast food in Thailand. Really? Yes, because we have noodle uh, to break our rice monster habit. You're calling yourself a rice monster? Yes. So noodles is something you just have occasionally? Yes, and something quick to eat outside. OK, more of like a fast food takeaway. Yes. Out on the streets, you'll find every type of noodle cooked every way imaginable. So we've got two different dishes here. Can you tell me the difference? So this one is the egg noodles uh, with the shrimp dumpling and fish ball. We serve this one dry, so basically without the soup. And this one is with soup. I Myself, I prefer the soup one. How much would something like this cost us? Between 50 to 80 bucks, depending on the topping that you order. So about 2 to $4. Dollars. Yes. It's a pretty good meal out. OK, am I just going go to in, go in for it? A really light flavour. Really light and beautiful. Street food comes with the added bonus of always being in the heart of the action. Whoa! It's all happening here. Right in the middle of everything. Just a few streets away is a restaurant that has become something of a Bangkok institution. Me Krob Ting Lee. Oh, that looks incredible. So this is the famous crispy noodle. Can you tell me why it's so popular? Yes, uh, this is the most popular crispy noodles in Thailand. It was the favourite of King Rama V. And once he tasted it, he fell in love with the, the food. The restaurant has changed and evolved, but the recipe for the signature crispy noodle dish has remained the same for over 130 years. We need to add the lime on the top so that you have a sour taste. We need to try uh, with the garlic, a little bit of chilli here. Bit of everything. Yes. Jip, I can now see why that was the king's favourite. Do people have a sweet tooth here? Yes, they do, especially the young generation. They are more sweet food than the older generation. So on the street, you'll see a lot of the sweet thing. So where are we? We are at a coconut ice cream with egg yolk. I, I like the coconut ice cream part of egg yolk. Yes. <laughs> a Thai specialty, the egg yolk is said to offer a rich, creamy texture that complements the sweet ice cream. I'm glad you brought me here because I must say, if I heard coconut ice cream and egg, I probably wouldn't have stopped in. Kopunka. <laughs> All right, Jip, here we go. Ice cream and egg. Oh, that is so good. It's creamy and not eggy at all. Just delicious ice cream. After dark, Chinatown becomes the culinary hub of this vibrant city. And getting there is an easy but exhilarating five-minute tuk-tuk ride. Chinatown is running 24 hours on the daytime. Will be all the gold shops, all the tea shops. But at night, they close two lanes on the street, as you see now. So it's all for pedestrians. Yes, and at night is only for food. Here we go. Oh, wow, 
Now that ginger's already hitting me in the face. This smells beautiful. This is a uh, sesame dumpling in ginger soup and served with ginkgo nut. And this is another dessert? Another dessert, but I would consider healthy dessert. Healthy Very dessert. healthy. Yes. We'll have to settle down the stomach after all the food, so it's help with digestion. I've always been a big fan of Thai food, but this experience has opened up a whole new world of flavours I didn't even know existed. There's not been a Pad Thai or a mango sticky rice inside. Yeah, yeah.